Coming back, Jim, doing wide receivers, suicidefantasyfootball.com, ranking your top five wide receivers going into the 2012 fantasy football season, Jim. I'll start with the wide receivers. I'm going Calvin Johnson, number one. Andre Johnson, number two. Johnson, you know Johnson. how you love Johnson. I do love me some Johnson. That's right. Wes Welker, I'm going at number three. Larry Fitzgerald, I know it's a little bit low, but I'm not believing anything until I see someone other than Skelton throwing him the ball. Not Kevin Cobb? I'm not believing in Kevin Cobb. After what he did last year, I don't think he's the guy out in Arizona. Could go somewhere else and end up being a decent quarterback. Doesn't look like Arizona is his spot. And then number five, I'm going A.J. Green, Jim. I think A.J. Green, with the red rifle throwing the ball to him, is going to put up... 1,400 yards, 100-plus catches, could end up being a top two or three guy. I think you were smoking some of the green that Jerome Simpson had from there because A.J. Green is a good player, not going to be a top five player. But number one, I'm going Megatron. I think everybody's going to be his consensus number one. He's definitely the most talented guy. He's going up there and grabbing the ball. He attacks the ball in the air physically. Sure. He's, he's definitely the number one. Number two, I'm going Fitz. I think Larry Fitz is the man. I think he's, you know, he had the one year where he was down a little bit, but he's shown now. Nah, he was good last year. I've had him. Ah, he was okay last year. He was okay last year. He was decent, put up these numbers. Uh, Number three, I'm going Andre Johnson. I think he has a little bit of a bounce back year. He was hurt last year. I think he's one of those proud guys who wants to prove he's on top of the mountain. Uh, Number four, I'm going Roddy White. I think Roddy White has a big bounce back year. I think Matt Ryan has a little bit of a bounce back year, but Julio Jones will impact Roddy White a lot, giving him the the less coverage as, as he you thought he was going to get this year. It didn't happen until later on in the season. I think Matt Ryan comes back and really plays hard with Roddy White. And number five, I got old, reliable Greg Jennings. Nothing super, nothing spectacular, but he's the, the steady – Four, five, six guy in the leg. I'm willing to make a wager with you, Jim. What's that? That Roddy White is the second leading producer on the Falcons next year. Points? Fantasy football points? Fantasy football points. Julio Jones puts up more fantasy football points than Roddy White next year. Good. Luckily, we keep this because about week four, you're going to say, I can't believe I said Julio Jones is going to score more points than Roddy White. We'll go by standard scoring? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. You can two points per side. I don't get whatever you want to do. There's nothing that Julio Jones is going to do that's going to outscore Roddy White. Nothing. All right, we will Except see. Except for dreadlocks. You might win the dreadlock competition. We will see. That's our call for the top five wide receivers. Tell us what you think. Jim at SuicideFantasySports.com. Eric at SuicideFantasySports.com. Check us out on Facebook. We're forward slash Suicide Fantasy Football. And then check us out Monday nights, 8 to 9.30, Blog Talk Radio, talking Philly sports with a little bit of fantasy.